Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Pocket Quadcopter. Uh, this is a nano quad in a box. So pretty cool, little uh, CX-10 style sort of clone redesign. Uh, get that stand out of the way. Um, so yeah, just a tiny little nano quad that stores inside the transmitter. So big, huge, open sign there. So you kind of just wedge open the side of the transmitter there. Uh, comes with a little spare set of props that just sort of loosely fits in there. And then you've got your room for your four AA batteries. And then the quad here. And you'll notice it's got a little charging port thing there. So that's how you charge it. It charges, you know, off these four AA batteries. So you'll probably go through batteries pretty quickly. There's no USB charging cable or anything. And then here are your thumb pads stored on the side there. So you just pull those off. Then you close this back up. Put your sticks on. Let me go ahead and do that. Just, just kind of push into place. And so there you go. Now you've got, that's your transmitter and your little nano quad. And then on the back here is your power button. And then you've got your flip button and your um, three rate speed switch. So that actually works pretty well. They're kind of just on the back while you're flying. You just kind of keep your fingers there. Or, you know, if you're a pincher like me, I kind of work them with my middle finger there. So those buttons are still easy to use, even on the back of the transmitter. And you, you have to press and hold the power button to turn it off. So you're not going to accidentally hit that and turn off the transmitter while you're flying. So that was a smart idea, making you have to press and hold it. Uh, the trim buttons are a little bit weird here on the side. You've just got forward and backward and left and right. There's no yaw trim. Uh, so those can be a little awkward to kind of try to reach while, you know, in flight, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, even for a pincher, I was able to, you know, I can get a grip on the sticks there. They, they look like they're going to be pretty short and hard to grab, but, um, you know, it is doable. I found it pretty easy to fly with. Uh, you can recalibrate the accelerometer by holding the left stick down left and the right stick up right. So opposite corners like that, and that'll recalibrate the accelerometer. Uh, it takes about 35 minutes to charge. Uh, it's got a you know standard 100 milliamp hour battery like all the Nanos. Um, and you get about 3 minutes and 45 second flights to the LVC warning, but then you've got about a 50 second LVC warning. So total you get about 4.5 minute flights. Uh, but you know, a really long LVC warning, so you got plenty of notice, plenty of time to get it back to yourself. Um, but you know, otherwise it's pretty much um, the CX-10 design. It's a little bit different. The, the battery bay here is a little different shape. Um, I like that they, you know, they gave two different color props, so orientation is easy. Um, but the most notable difference with this one is the LEDs. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So instead of having LEDs out here on the motor mounts like the CX-10, these are actually inside the arms. So there, I think that's kind of shown up on camera. So you've got the uh, red is, yeah, red is our back and green is in the front. So nice, uh, good color orientation, but they are inside the arm. So that's just really cool to, to see a Nano like this with the, the uh, you know, internal arm LEDs. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then I think, yeah, the, the front, the front green LEDs blink when you're actually giving throttle there, you can see them blinking. So while it flies, the front LEDs blink and the back ones stay solid. Uh, so that kind of helps even, you know, with scene orientation again. Um, but then when you get to LVC warning, all four LEDs blink. So then you can notice that you, you know, you've got low battery warning. Um, there are the three different rates on the back here. There's only one yaw rate, but it's a pretty decent yaw. You can do funnels and everything. Um, and it does pretty nice flips, you know, you press that button and then give your right stick to whichever way you want to flip. So pretty cool there. 
Um, so yeah, really the only complaints is, you know, there's no USB charger, just which would be nice if you're at home just to save your batteries. Uh, but I do like that it, you know, you can charge off the transmitter, so you don't have to carry anything with you. You've got, let me uh, turn this off, and you've got everything you need here in one package. So, I mean, it really is a pocket quad. You just, you know, take this one thing with you, and it can be a little bit hard to open, especially if you don't have any fingernails. Um, so just, you know, really convenient that you can you can have everything in one package, um, you do have to kind of plug it in a little bit just to even fit it in the the um, compartment here. Like I tried to just put the plug on top of the quad, but then you see here the, the plug blocks the top and so it doesn't want to close. So you have to slightly plug in the charger to even be able to get the thing to close. Um, but you'll see it, it doesn't actually initiate this. There's an LED right there that turns green when it's charging. So let's see if I can, yeah, I think my battery's too full for it to actually kick on. Yeah, it's, it's too full, but yeah, this, this light will turn green when it charges and then it'll turn off when it's done. Um, so you can, you can kind of tell, you know, when you've got it, you, you've got the the plug in there and it'll allow you to close it but it's not actually connecting and charging but just a little bit worrying there that you know if you leave it actually connected for you know while you're carrying around that maybe that'll you know overcharge the battery or something um, just a little bit worrying but you know I'll trust that they they thought of that and it wouldn't actually be a problem but who knows lipo batteries are you know nothing to, to joke around about so that is definitely something to keep your eye on. Uh, yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say about it, so let's go take it for a flight. All right, this is the flight review of the Pocket Quadcopter. This thing is pretty cool, man. I love how you can just put it all on the one little controller package and take it with you on the go, charge from the controller and everything. Let's, uh, can never remember what the buttons are. So, alright, there's our yaw rate, so it does not change, there's low rates, medium rates, high rates, so a little bit slow on the yaw rate, not quite as fast as the CX-10, so you can't really do funnels with this, <laughs> I think that's about as good as I've got for a funnel there. Let's uh... Back to medium rates, let's do some flipping. Some nice, nice tight flips on this. Pretty cool, so let's just do some flying now. See how that, the yaw rate's just a tad slow. I wish it was a little bit faster, and I wish it changed with the rates. A little bit, a little bit slow to do like you know any kind of aggressive flying indoors. It's not bad though. It's doable. Just kind of have to get a feel for it. So let's take it in for a landing and look at these LEDs. They're pretty interesting, unique LEDs with the uh, you know glowing from inside the arms like that I guess it there's like a little bit of a, a opening so it's not really totally glowing through the arms there is an opening but it does glow through the arms as well so pretty neat looking I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the blinking green while it flies but they're lit up long enough that you, they're pretty much solid and blinking at the same time, I think. So, I don't know, it gets a little bit hard to see them at times. The motor pods block the LEDs at certain angles. So sometimes I'm kind of losing sight. Whoa, just got right in my face. So yeah, I don't think this is quite a night flyer. I think those LEDs are a little bit hard to see at times kind of lose orientation a little bit here and there. So let's take it in for a landing. 
Whoa, ricochet landing. All right, well, I think that was uh, pretty much all there is to show about that one. So I don't think it's quite the flyer that the CX-10 is, uh, but, you know, it's, it's definitely a nice flyer, and then being able to store it all in the transmitter and take it on the go is really cool. I'm surprised it's taken anybody this long to come up with a Nano that stores in the transmitter. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's the uh, Pocket Quad Copter, and check the video description for price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.